This is Mike Blue here reporting for Film the Fleet Portland. I'm documenting the time and date. It is 2.53 p.m. Saturday, May 23rd, 2015. I'm documenting this date to uh, bring the light typical law enforcement entitlement. We have a pay to park space here. This is the license plate. It's Oregon with E252864. This is a law enforcement vehicle. This vehicle I pay for. And as you can notice, see there is no sticker here that would let any reasonable person know that, uh, you know, there is no parking sticker here. These people did not pay to park. Bob told me that a family got out of this car on the public dime. They did pay the meter. Is that them? That's them? Yeah, family got out. Is that them behind you? No. Okay. So a whole family got out of this law enforcement car. See, there's a computer. So dude is like taking his whole family out and nobody said, oh dad, oh honey, you didn't pay the meter. You know, this is the kind of crap that pisses people off. Cops like doing whatever they feel like. See? And see, this is the pay to fuck part of space. Why? Because I want to. No. Don't ever go in the bank again. Yeah. Hey, hey Pete. Hey Pete. I'm wondering why you're using the Portland police car for your personal use, sir? In the car. Hey, uh, Pete, seriously. Yeah, can I help you? Why are you using a Portland police car That's for your, your personal business right use, now. sir? No, no, a, a citizen would have to pay a $90 parking ticket for what you're doing. I'm on call, sir. You're not on the call. You're here with your family at, a, at an event. Goodbye, Joe. My name's not Joe. A citizen would have to pay a $90 parking ticket for this, Pete. You know it and I know it. This is Portland Police Bureau's uh, public information officer. Have a nice day spinning the propaganda for your own crime, sir. Hey, guess who that is, Michael? <laughs> that, that's Portland Police Bureau's public information officer, the guy that spends all their information, all their uh, uh, all, all media stuff. Probably on vehicle for personal business. Hey, Pete, stop bye bye now, criminal! Yeah, seriously, like he just took his family to a, a kids play in a Portland Police Bureau's uh, marked car and didn't pay the meter. If I or any other citizen would have done that, we would have had to pay a $90 park it parking ticket. Portland Police Bureau's public information officer owes the city of Portland $90. And he owes us an explanation. It's this kind of sense of entitlement I mean, this is the guy that's in charge of defining uh, Portland Police Bureau's responses to things like when there's a shooting in the city or when there's a protest and, and Portland Police Bureau has to speak up for itself, they go through this guy. Ramona Quimby just ended, right? There's another one when? There's one at 5 o'clock today. There's one at 5 o'clock today? And the first one play, played from when to when? When was the uh, uh, hours? Uh, it started at 1, and it's, it's just letting out now. So about right. an hour and a half. All right, started at 1. So what's the time now, miss? It's, it's 
What? 3.30. 3.30. Thank you so much. Hi, um, I'm trying to get a hold of uh, Officer uh, Pete Simpson, the uh, information officer. Can you tell me what uh, what his hours are when he's in the in his office so I can know when I could call him? Uh, normal business hours, like daytime hours. Okay, does he work on the weekends or just on the weekdays? Uh, weekdays. Weekdays, like uh, Monday through Friday, uh, like nine, 9 to 5? Yeah. So he's never in his office on the weekends? Uh, through emergencies, but... Okay, right on. Well, thank you. Oh, and I just wanted to let you know that I'm uh, recording this for my own records, and I, I appreciate the uh, information. Thank you. Thank you. All right, bye.